So, <laughs> I have a real interesting video for you guys tomorrow. Today, I'm, I'm actually going to take the advice. I'm going to take the advice of a high school kid I heard the other day. This high school kid he wants to go to school. So on Tuesday, he went to school. And they said, you're supposed to be in virtual learning. Why are you at school? And he said, because I want to learn in school. And they said, well, you're not allowed. And he said, I don't care. <laughs> And they were like, well, if you come back to school tomorrow, that's going to be a problem for you. And he went, I and fucking walked out. And he stayed in school that day. And then Wednesday rolls around. <laughs> Ballsy little fucker shows up to school again. So they suspend him. Like, usually you would get suspended if you didn't come to school... Now they're suspending kids for coming to school. Okay. So, yeah. And, uh... <laughs> so, they, they're not cool with this kid coming to school. And they suspended him. So, Thursday rolls around. <laughs> and the super brass ballsy motherfucker shows up to school. So... Because he is an unauthorized person on school grounds and they have a zero tolerance policy and of course school shooters and all. Police come. Take the kid into custody. They handcuff him. Because that's what the police do. They handcuff you. If you're the person that everybody's going, I'm calling because that person is the problem. They go, oh, that's the problem? We'll handcuff him so that he will be less of a problem. Then we'll find out what the fuck's going on. If it winds up, you're the problem, though. We're going to handcuff you. And then we're going to really figure out what the fuck's going on. And we don't know who's going to get arrested, but we're here. Like, that's kind of the way it goes. So, <clears throat> they handcuff this kid, load him up, take him to the station, call his mom. His mom picks him up. They just release him, you know bad boy, don't do it again, you know, and so he's on <laughs> Fox News with Neil Cavuto, and Neil says, well, what do you plan to do tomorrow, are you going back to school, and the kid goes, no, I'm not doing anything tomorrow, because tomorrow is 9-11, and there's more important things that are going to go on. <laughs> And I was like, I love this fucking kid. So I'm thinking to myself, what, what, what am I gonna do today for a video? Cause I'm like, I was like, well, fuck it, I just won't do one. It's Friday. I, I oftentimes don't do videos on Friday, so I just won't, won't do anything. And I was like, eh, I kind of want to do something, be a little lighthearted. And then I was like, well, what the fuck am I going to do? So, we'll do a game review. Because <laughs> why not? And it is, after all, a new game. And I have, after all, played it. So, I got the Avengers. And I got it. They trick-fucked me so badly. Uh, let me check something real quick. All right, good. I got to make sure that my ring... Okay, yeah. So, <clears throat> God damn it. Um, what was I saying? Oh, I was looking through the new games, right? And I saw that the Avengers was in new games, like recently released games. And I was like, but it was like the deluxe edition, the really expensive one that just gives you more costumes. And I'm like, I don't fucking care about that. So, I switch it to the normal one. I got myself a gift certificate because I had a shit ton of points because I play games with my life and that's all I do in this. And so I got a $25 gift certificate. So I 
not that off price, got the game, and it wasn't out. I had to wait until the next day. If I would have spent the extra money and got the Super Deluxe version, I could have played it that day. But, I'm cheap, so I had to wait a whole day. And then some, because it was fucking Friday, so I had to wait till I fuck got home from work. Then I played it. I played it all weekend long. Even though I pumped out a shit ton of videos, I played it all weekend long. And I beat the main storyline campaign. <clears throat> and so, yeah, that's how far I'm in it. And I'm still playing it. I'm still fucking enthralled with it. I love the game. Here's what's funny about the game. And I started to realize this partway through. And then it made me laugh even more when Dennis told me that this was a criticism of the game. It's Destiny. But it's like Destiny done right. Like, my complaint, and many people's complaint, with Destiny, since launch, um, Destiny doesn't really know what it wants to be. It wants to be like a looter shooter, but it's not, because drop rate is for shit. Like, it's kind of like that, because the, the weapons are pretty much randomized, but the drop rate is so shit, you never get anything. So, it's not really a looter shooter. But it kind of is. And it wants to be an MMO. But it's kind of not. Because you can play it with yourself. And you're doing all of the same shit you're doing with everybody else. And really, the only thing you need other people for is like other people specific shit. And it's only other people specific because they made it that way. So... It's not really an MMO because you can't really get in like big groups of people. The cool thing about MMOs was whenever you'd have like god raids and you'd go do like really hard shit and you'd get three or four groups of people together and there'd be 50, 60 characters raiding this fucking plane. That was some fun shit. That's an MMO, right? That's some good times right there. I've been in, in parties like that. We had, I think, two different guilds go and raid... Uh, <clears throat> One of the big dungeons on Kunark, when I, back in the EverQuest days. And, like, I was in charge of my group because I was the druid. And that meant that I would cast the spell that made us all run really fast. That's why I was in charge of the group. Because I cast an important spell. <laughs> so, you know, and I had my group that I was chatting with. And everybody's chatting kind of over the zone. And then there's, like, you know specific group chat and oh dude it was so much fun it was it was a great fucking time and you know it, you did you, you can't really do that in destiny it's not really an mmo but it kind of is <laughs> you know what i mean like every aspect of destiny is it it kind of is that but not really like, it wants to be a multi, like a, like a, like a battle royal, you know, not like a battle royale game, but like a deathmatch type of game. It wants to be like a hardcore PvP type of game. But, like, they paid more attention to the actual storyline and the, and the PvE game. They just kind of slapped together a fucking P, they said, okay, we'll make maps, fight each other. It was really fucking it. Like, there isn't really anything unique there that makes you go, this is an amazing... There's no Battle Royale feature. There's no sweet match. Oh, capture the zone. Never played that before. Oh, deathmatch. Neat. Like, oh, three versus three deathmatch. Like, dude, it's all the same fucking shit everywhere else. It's not really like... A PvP game. But it wants to be. <laughs> and it's not really a PvE game. It's not really like a actually good campaign game. Because the campaign shit. Like the storyline's crap. The world is amazing. But everything that they've made with it is for shit. So it wants to be a really kick-ass single player game. But it's not really. <laughs> so like. Avengers said, well, we don't want to be an MMO because we're not going to have 500, 500 fucking Iron Men running around. That would be stupid. So we can't be an MMO. So 
We're not going to do that shit. But we'd still like to have multiplayer feature because there are, after all, more than one Avenger. So we'll let you have a party of four. You can have up to four friends playing with you. Or you can have a party, a, a party, a party of four uh, NPCs. And they'll help you as best they can. Which actually, they're not actually all that fucking bad. It's actually kind of funny to watch them whenever I go to target something and one of them fucking, like, Thor throws a fucking hammer at it and I'm like, oh, thanks. You know, like, they're actually not bad AI. And they actually will help you up. I, there was one time where Captain America, I don't know if he couldn't, I was playing the Hulk, I don't know how he could have missed me, but I was down and he was standing just outside of the circle attacking things and not helping me. And that was kind of annoying, but then Thor came in and helped me. So it was kind of like, eh, you know, eh, 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 it ain't bad. Like, the AI is pretty good. It's very cool to play. Man, playing as the fucking characters is awesome. They all, they all play the same. As in, they don't have separate button combinations or anything like that. X is light attack. You press X multiple times, you'll chain light attacks together. Y is heavy attack. You press Y multiple times, you chain heavy attacks. You can do X's and Y's and it'll make you a chain of different stuff. Right? Like it's all that kind of A jumps. B and the stick is what you it's dodge. You know, like that kind of shit. But like with Iron Man, you know, he's hitting you with a suit. So it's pretty heavy hit, heavy hit just for him hitting with a suit. Like, how is he going to do a heavier hit than that? Well, he shoots people. <laughs> so when you press Y with him, he just fucking starts shooting motherfuckers. Like, it's odd. They all, they all play the same, but they all feel very different. You know what I mean? Like, playing as Miss Marvel, very different than playing as anybody else. Even though she's pretty much the same as playing as the Hulk. She's nothing like playing as the Hulk, because she's totally fucking different. So, I mean, it's very cool how they made the characters. I absolutely love it. I like that they're coming out with more content. They're already trailering out, releasing uh, Kate Bishop, who is, for those of you who don't know, Hawkeye. And it looks like Hawkeye is also going to be in her like little storyline arc. And it looks like they're also releasing Black Panther. And I think that's fucking great. On PlayStation, you can get Spider-Man, but I didn't get on a PlayStation because I wanted to play it with Dennis. Dennis doesn't have a PlayStation. We game share on Xbox. Bought it on Xbox. Don't really fucking care, because if I want to play as Spider-Man, I have the entire Assassin's Creed Spider-Man game that I can play whenever the fuck I want, and I still haven't beaten it yet because I get to the point where I get bored with it. I just can't fucking do it anymore. The, the game loop gets too tight for me, and I can't fucking do it. <clears throat> but this one... It's still pretty fucking awesome. The game loop is still pretty fun for me on this one. It hasn't gotten so tight where I'm just doing the same thing. It hasn't gotten into a grind yet. Because I'm just kind of leveling everybody up equally. And that's a lot of fucking fun. Who's the lowest level character? Alright, playing with you today, Cap. And then I run around and play with Cap all day. And level him up badass levels. And then I the next day I go, well, who's next? <laughs> and I pick somebody else. It's a lot of fun. I'm loving this fucking game. Uh, the the missions are starting to get repetitive because the missions are the same every time. Like they're always the same. Um, you, it's they have like I think like four different kind of open worldish areas, and then they have like two or three different like interior areas. So. They kind of randomly throw them together in a not random fucking way. And, uh, yeah. <laughs> and you, like, go find treasure chests and people are captured and stuff like that. Like, eh, you know, it, it's it's not like, De like Destiny wanted to be an open world type game. They wanted to have a huge open world type thing. But not really. Because there's really not much to do in the fucking open world other than patrols and shit. And that gets very boring very fast. So, in Avengers, they didn't do open world. They said, we'll have open world. You'll go into your mission. You'll have a whole open world to wander around in. 
and then you got to do your mission. That's how you get out of the open world. Finish your mission. <laughs> and then you finish the mission, and then it goes, now go to another open world somewhere else. And there's like a whole bunch of little objectives that you can do. But it's only like four or five. I think I've, the most I've seen is like five. So you do like five little objectives, and then you go finish the fucking mission. It's awesome. Like, it's perfect. It's not running around for hours trying to find stuff and just being like, you know what? Fuck it, I don't even care anymore. And like, <clears throat> they, they, you know, they have the, the gear, like, uh, let's talk about the system. It's very role-playing gaming. There's two different things going on there, just like Destiny. Leveling and power score. Or you could call it light if you were talking about Destiny. Just like Destiny, right? So your character levels. From leveling your character, you get points to put into character abilities, right? When you get equipment, you get stat boosts and stuff like that. And other little perks that come with the equipment. You know, the equipment does stuff for you. And it has a power rating, which I imagine is anywhere between either 1 and 50 or 1 and who even fucking knows. I have no idea if it, if it breaks beyond the highest level power I've seen in opposition to me. I have no clue. But, um, like, because I think you can level your character up to 250, but you only get 50 levels worth of points because there's only 50 levels worth of fucking skills to buy, so... Once you get 50 points, your character's maxed, and I guess you can level to 250 if it has to. I don't fucking know. Um, because, I mean, you get more than just points. You get stat boost, too. That is a thing. You do get stat boost, too. But, really, the big benefit from 1 to 50 is that you get points given skills. That's fucking... You need that shit. Um, but yeah, your power level is essentially, like, how well you'll do in opposition to what is coming. So, your character level might be you know, 15. That just means your character level is 15. You get what you get at level 15. The enemy levels, however, based off of power, they have like a power rating of 40, right? You can be level 15 and have gear that gives you a power rating of 40, but that shit's still going to be tough. If you're like level 18, 19, and you've gotten to around a power level of 40, which is roundabouts where I'm getting to 40, that's not so bad, right? Of course, if you have one level 40 character and a bunch of level 35 characters, it gets pretty rough. <laughs> so you kind of have to strike a balance with that shit too. Keeping in mind, your power level is what the enemies are fighting at. So it's kind of like your capability of fighting against the enemies that you're facing in, in, in the area. Because your level doesn't entirely matter in respect to that. Your level is just kind of what your stats are and how many abilities you have. You can be really shitty at picking abilities or really shitty at using abilities... Right? And if you're rocking a ridiculously high-powered character, you're going to do pretty fucking good. So, yeah. Um, and also, there's ways to, like, heavily power level your character, but you don't get any, like, power rating out of it, because you don't get any gear. <laughs> you don't get any gear, and you don't get any upgradable materials. You're just leveling the shit out of your character, doing the little VR missions, you can do that all day if you want, but you'll have a level 50 character that'll have all of the fucking abilities and you go into a level 40 zone with a level 20 fucking power and they're gonna beat the dog shit out of you every fucking time. So, right, it's also kind of a way to mitigate power leveling because they know people will fucking do it. If you want a power level, you're gonna have to play the game. Sorry, you know, like, mm, I thought that was kind of cool as well. <clears throat> so, it wants to encourage you to play the game. And it does. Unlike Destiny, that wants to encourage you to play the game, 
up to level 20 and then everything is just your gear which you can get by fucking around and just farming crap no real way to do that in the Avengers because the only way to farm gear play missions the game <laughs> so yeah um I, I, I think it's a beautifully made game it's very well put together it's very buggy I'll, I'll admit it's very buggy and they've already been putting out updates that are already bugging it up a little bit more <laughs> It is buggy. At uh, one time, I was flying straight towards the ground as Tony Stark, and I didn't want to like stop and like pull up and then drop because I didn't want to waste the time, and I didn't want to do the attack. I just wanted to fucking slam straight into the ground, right? And I did. I slammed straight through the ground, through the graphic of the ground, through the world and fell for oblivion. <sighs> you know what I mean? Like, there is some shit going on. There have been times where, like, like you get um, these little tokens that are for uh, unlocking a costume randomly for somebody. You take them to a costume fabricator, and you turn it into a costume. I did that with one, and I got fucking nothing. There have been times where, like, I'll pick up a book, a collectible and you get nothing I don't know if it's like you already had that one so we're just gonna say fuck it you don't get it but it was like when I was picking up the books I was in brand new areas of the game that I had never explored before and I'm picking up books and getting nothing <laughs> so there was definitely a bug there I think um but, yeah, so there, there's kind of a lot of that shit. But I have noticed that, like, I've been opening chests and getting books out of them. So, I don't really think it's one of those, if you lost it, then it's gone forever and you have to play the game all over again to try to find it. I don't think it's so much like that. I think it's just kind of, well, you're out of the game now and you're still playing it. Because there is still content. Very much like Destiny, once you're done with the storyline, that's kind of when the game opens up. You get a whole bunch of new shit and all this new stuff and all these new quests and all this new storyline and all this stuff. So, it, it, I love that. I like that kind of shit. I love stacking uh, uh, content on shit. I hope they go the Destiny 2 route and just put out, like, fuck tons of d DLCs, you know, do the whole season pass thing for 35 bucks or whatever. And then just pump out like three or four really good DLCs that give you a new character. Because it's the Avengers. Fuck you. Just give a new character at least. And, you know, a little storyline character. You know, like a character storyline quest. I think that would be a hell of a lot of fun. They did that for all the characters. They all, like, Once you get the character, you get a little VR training mission for them. And then you get their own little iconic storyline. And you kind of play through a game storyline related iconic storyline like it's something that's that they did in a comic book that now you're getting to do in the game but it relates to the game as far as the game is concerned the storyline so i think that would be cool if they did in the, and they're doing that you know they're advertising that they're going to release kate bishop and black panther and i didn't see the black panther trailer i saw the kate bishop trailer and Kate Bishop has her own little storyline where she's dealing with Hawkeye. So, you know, I, I thought that you know, that's a fucking great idea. That's great DLC. If they put out three characters a, a year, I'll buy every fucking season pass every fucking year. And play the shit out of that game because it's so much fun. They've done an amazing job at the game. They fixed the bugs. It's going to be that much better. But I haven't really, like, there are bugs that happen where it's like, okay, like one of them was in the VR missions. I'd get into the VR mission, and the first, you know, the character VR, the character-specific VR mission, <clears throat> it runs you through a tutorial of playing that character. And it always starts with, press B to dodge. So, you walk in, and then there's a, a 
robot and he comes up to you and he just kind of swings at you and you're supposed to dodge. And you'd start and the robot would stand there and you'd walk up to the robot and the robot would stand there and you'd punch the robot and the robot would stand there. You'd kill the robot thinking that robot's defective. It spawns another robot that stands there. So it's like, well, eh. and then you just reload checkpoint. Restarts the fucking thing. Robot immediately begins to attack you. Worked for me every time. So there's a lot of that kind of stuff. They're annoying. I have yet, they're annoying and like when you get something and you turn it in and you don't fucking get something, that's like super annoying. But I don't consider that game breaking because there isn't a, like, like I said, I've been getting books out of chess. So if there isn't a finite amount of books, I don't care. If I miss it once but can get it later, Whatever, I plan to play the game a lot. So, pff, if I can run into it sooner or later, most likely sooner or later I'll run into it. I don't care. Um, but if it's gone forever, that's meh, bordering on game breaking. It's just flavor text, really. It's just little storyline stuff. But I want to read it because it's cool. I like that. That's why I'm playing the game. <laughs> I don't want to fucking play the game. So, last but not least, we'll end here. The storyline. What is the storyline? I'll tell you how the beginning of the game starts because it's fairly tutorial as shit. I don't really think it's a spoiler if you tell people how the game sets up. You're going to go through it immediately at the beginning of the game. Um, you start off playing as Kamala Khan, as a wee little less, right? And you're going with your dad to A-Day, Avengers Day, on this big, huge Avengers ship. Big fucking one of the big airships, right? And you're going to go and visit with the Avengers and see the Avengers and, oh my god, all this Avengers stuff. It's a big Avengers event. And she's like, fucking super fan. Like, she is wild super fan. Right? She's wearing a Captain Marvel fucking shirt. She's got a, a, a Avengers fucking pin on her back. Man, she is huge super fan. This is the biggest thing in the world. So you get to relive what it's like being a child going to fuck Disneyland for the first time. Or the Ninja Turtles on Ice. Fuck you, I went. It was cool. Right? Like, you, you get to kind of relive that shit almost. They did it really fucking well. Everything is very cool. Like, I'm looking at it going, I would fucking be freaking out going to this thing because this is pretty sweet. And they're not actually real in my world. It, it would just be cool to go and see all this, this cool stuff. And, you know, playing as this girl, and, like, she's looking at all this stuff, and then fucking, boom, here comes Thor. Just fucking wanders in, and she's like, oh. <laughs> you know what I mean? So, I mean, it, there's a very cool interplay that goes on with her and, you know, the characters. They do that for you. And it's very neat to see her interact with them and them interact with her and shit like that. And you, you, you get, there's a lot of character building in this. Like, there's a lot of character building in this. Even though there have been 10 years worth of movies of character building... And they're pretty much going off of that. There's a lot of character building in this part. It's amazing. So you go through this whole thing. And then off in the distance. Bridge starts blowing up. Tony. Thor. Check it out. And now you're playing as a fucking Avengers. Right? You play as Thor for a little bit. Play as Iron Man for a little bit. Play as Hulk for a little bit. Play as Black Widow for a little bit. Play as Cap for a little bit. All this shit happens. And then the fucking ship falls and the fucking city's pretty much destroyed. And this bad, nasty stuff called Terrigen, which some of you might remember from Agents of S.H.I.E.L.D. if you watched it. It's pretty much infected the whole city. The whole city needs to be quarantined. All these Inhumans are coming around. It's a big, giant fucking problem. And one of the lead scientists on the project dealing with that specific element that did all this nasty stuff, 
he creates a company called AIM. Advanced Idea Mechanics. Yeah, that's right, we're fighting AIM. <laughs> <laughs> and there you go. The Avengers have pretty much broken up. You as Kamala Khan have to get them together, get them fight back into fighting shape, and get them going after AIM to figure out what all's going on, on with this mystery, this tangled sack of snakes. Got to lay them all out straight. And I got to admit, there were twists in it that I thought were great. And, man, I don't know. I thought it was a really great storyline. I really liked it. One of the problems that I have with it, there's only three comic book villains. There's six villains, like, or bosses, but like, you know, comic book villains. There's six bosses when you look through the little codex thing, but only three of them are like, dudes. So I was kind of disappointed on that, but at the same time, licensing for characters when you're going with the Avengers is probably pretty expensive. <laughs> so, you know, it's kind of cool. And they are, after all, you know, releasing stuff over time. Maybe they'll throw in some more bad guys. It was just kind of disappointing. The, there was only three bad guys. And I'm like, uh huh. Like, everybody else was bad guys from the books, but it's all beekeepers, man. So, you know, I'm like, they're all robots. Yeah, I know, dudes in the yellow suits, but I want to fight, like, cool bosses. It was no Batman in that respect. I'll say that much. The Avengers is no Batman as far as villains is concerned. But, Batman was always tacking a prison full of fucking crazy people. So, I don't know what to tell you. <laughs> Maybe a little bit more realistic, the Avengers. I, I, I don't know. But, I think it's a great game. I really think it's a great game. I think if they can clean up the bugs, that would make it an amazingly great game. And if they put out, like, a pretty consistent level of, you know what I mean? Like, I would buy a year subscription to this game if they gave me something new every month. Honestly. I'd pay 50 bucks a year if I got something new every month. And they're already planning two releases. That's fucking encouraging. That's very awesome. If it's two releases and then they go... The rooms in the ship are full. We're done. I'm going to be like. <sighs> Why ain't that a bitch? You know. So. Yeah. I don't know. I don't know. I don't know what they're going to wind up ultimately doing with it. But I'm encouraged by what I'm seeing so far. I think it's pretty fucking sweet. So. I think it would be doubly cool. They said, all right, we're going to have to come up with Avengers Tower or some shit like that at some point. And then you had, like, a broader fucking room of lockers, you know, the rooms that people could have. If you play the game, you'll understand what I'm talking about. But, yeah. I don't know. We'll see what happens in the future, but I, I, I really love the game. I highly recommend it. Be warned, it's got bugs. But, and it crashes. There are times where it crashes. It does crash. It hasn't crashed since the update. So maybe the update was to fix the crashes. And maybe that's why some people's dialogue is now fucking goofy. But, I don't know. None of it's game breaking. And when I say dialogue's goofy, like there's characters that give you daily missions. Like in Destiny. Except there's only two of them as opposed to 25. And so, you talk to one of them, and when you accept, if you just rapidly accept all the missions, because you're like, I'm just going to do whatever the fuck happens today, and uh, whatever, then she says, really? You're the best. Really? You're the best. Really? You're the best. And she'll say it for every all eight of them that you accepted. <laughs> so it's kind of like, get all the shit from her, and then fucking get out of her menu, and run as far away from her as you possibly can. That's kind of the strategy with her, because she's a little bit broken. And that has begun since the update. The crashing has stopped since the update. So, again, it's got bugs, 
None of them are game breaking as far that's not a game breaking bug as far as I'm concerned. It's just fucking annoying. When characters load up and you see their hair before you see the rest of them, it's not a bug or it's not a game breaking bug. It's just fucking like obnoxious looking, really. It's like sometimes it's really obnoxious looking. Like Thor was funny because his hair would load up with his cape. So you'd see like a mullet with cape. And it would be like <laughs> and then all of a sudden poof, there's Thor. And it's like, oh shit, okay. Like it's jarring sometimes, but you get used to it after a while. And it's just like playing the game, I've seen very few actual bugs in like actually playing actual levels. There was the one where I flew through the ground, which was just kind of one of those it's a buggy game. What are you doing, dummy? You know, this is one of those kind of moments. I know how to play buggy games. I've, I've learned from all the new games I've been getting over the past five, six years, whatever, ten years. So I know how to play buggy games. You know, I know you don't do that dumb shit. But I did that dumb shit. Way up there. So, if you play it like it's a buggy game, most likely you won't have many problems. Just be delicate with it. Understand you can't zip through it like you're a speed racer. It ain't optimized for that yet. <laughs> I would love to see people speed run this game. That must be a fucking nightmare. So anyways, um, yeah, I highly recommend it. Great fucking game. Everybody, day of remembrance. Never forget 9-11. That whole thing. I, I don't want to harp on it because I would rather just talk about a fun video game. And I certainly didn't want to go into anything political today. So... There you go.